This video is designed to cover some basic Maya structure and interface standards and to identify some pitfalls that are commonly encountered when first beginning Maya. I don't recommend any particular settings because I think they're better. Ultimately, you should decide for yourself how you want Maya to look and behave. I'll show you my preferences and tell you why I like them, and I'll recommend that you use them initially so that we can have a common set of standards to make these lessons flow more easily. I'm not going to talk about all the settings in Maya, only those that I see hindering beginning students' progress in the first few weeks of learning the software. Most of these settings can be, placed, uh, can be changed in many places, but the main window for change is the Preferences window. This can be found at the menu bar on, at the top. Uh, click on Window, Settings and Preferences, and then Preferences. The Preferences window is arranged with the primary and secondary categories on the left and specific settings on the right. Let's start with the Interface category and talk about the UI, or User Interface Elements. At the top of the window is a list of elements that you can turn on or off as needed. The Status Line, the Shelf, the Time Slider, the Range Slider, the Command Line, the Help Line, and the toolbox. Below that, you can choose to include or exclude specific editor windows in your interface. You can choose to show or not show them, or you can show them one at a time. By turning everything off, we have a clean set of windows with a lot of space to see our scene. Keeping everything on, will give us less room to work, but puts all of our tools and editors within our view. These user interface elements can also be accessed by clicking on the display menu at the top of the screen. Click on display, UI elements. Notice that there's a dotted line at the top of this drop down menu. If you click on it, you can tear it off and keep it visible, perhaps on a second monitor. From this menu, you can turn your UI elements back on as needed. Press the control and spacebar together to toggle between your saved UI layout and your full screen display. Use command spacebar on a Mac. 